Alright, this is the version 6 of the final working circuit. That is a 200 watt halogen bulb. Almost fully lit. Not quite. This is the output of L2 coil. L2 is 8 turns in both directions, counterclockwise and clockwise which goes through and feeds this capacitor and then it discharges through this yellow wire through the bulb and to the green wire and on the other side of the capacitor. L1 coil is powered by this neon sign transformer, it uses 90 watts. <coughs> High tension cables, two diodes, uh, positive, negative, which is, uh, there's a spark or surge arresters across it. It's charging the capacitor. And then that capacitor is dumped through this capacitor and L1 coil here. They're both um, connected in series. You have to calculate the, the total capacitance in series. Uh, that's how you get this waveform that's actually rising. Show you in a little bit in detail. See, that's the the rising waveform that you're looking for. And that's running out on about 39 kilohertz. That's the upper frequency of the um, NST. So far it seems to be running great, um, I've tried different combinations and finally came up with this one which seems to work the best. Uh, you could tune this by changing the L1 coil in and out. The only problem right now is this spark gap uh, or surge arresters. There's too much power going through at the voltage and it overspecs with the casing. So I'm thinking of immersing them in oil um, and building a capsule around it and then putting oil inside and then sealing it off. So there's my working. The next step is, by the way, to take this output, charge a capacitor, and then dump it into a ferrite transformer and have it resonance there. I believe this is, is almost in resonance. I have to finally tune it a bit, but otherwise it's almost there. Okay, I want to show you what a 100 watt bulb looks like powered by the system. There you go. That's at full brightness, by the way, and it's really blinding to look at. There's also, uh, if you stay away from it, filament starts ringing and there's uh, ionization of the argon gas inside. It looks like blue but it's hard to see on this camera. Same waveform 